Hi, today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of being a freelancer. The main pro to being a freelancer is of course flexibility, doing work on your own terms. The laptop lifestyle as a lot of freelancers, SEOs, entrepreneurs call it is you know, you can work abroad, you can work wherever you want, wherever Wi-Fi is, you can reply to your clients' emails, you can answer the phone just like you're at home. They will still not be fussed. You can do where your work wherever you want. It's your terms. Flexibility is great, but the downside, the con, is lack of structure. When I first worked from home, six, um, the first six months, it was hard work. It was hard to differentiate my home life and my work life. I was just getting up, sitting at a laptop, watching some TV at lunch. There's no structure. So hopefully, if you're a freelancer, I'd highly recommend that you do get a virtual, like a, an office that you can go in, a shared workspace, because the lack of structure can kill you and your workload. When you get an inquiry, when you get a referral, when you get that new job that you've closed and they're ready to go, you get that new job joy. And there's nothing like that. When you work for yourself, you, you know, that is your work that you've created. You should feel proud, but that is such a, such a high. If you're a web designer or a graphic designer, usually your jobs are relatively small time frames. So you will get that new job feeling all the time because you can balance, you know, you can balance some work against other work and it will give you that new job feeling all the time that will keep you motivated. That's exactly what you need as a freelancer and it's a huge plus point. Admin cash flow is super boring guys. Trust me, I've been there. As a freelancer, it's a huge con and I would recommend that you do find someone to help you because it will bring you down. Having that admin time that you have to do all the time is just going to just going to eat into the into what you need to be doing, generating work, creating your work, and being the freelancer you want to be. So the admin work is a huge con, but try and find someone to help you. Try and find someone that's been there. We've got other videos around this and, and this how to be a successful freelancer, so do check them out before you do take, take the jump. One of the huge advantages of being a successful freelancer when you're further down the line, maybe a year or two down the line, you will start to get the referrals, you'll start to get the clients you really want. And that gives you the opportunity to increase your rate card because the one issue of being a freelancer is your time and you can only do a certain amount a day. When you increase your name, your brand, you can increase your workload and your work rate, hopefully, and that will give you the cash flow you want and that will also make you a lot happier and it make you know, you're not getting take advantage of. Hopefully this has answered your question if you want to be a freelancer or not. Lots of other videos around freelancing and how to be a successful one or is it right for you? Hopefully that vi this video has really helped you understand if you want to get into the world of freelancing. Comment below, I will answer every question individually and there's more videos around freelancing on my channel and coming soon.